Okay, we are here today to talk about Jeff Jones. Jeffrey Jones. Uh, some of you may know of her as Jeffrey Catherine Jones. Uh, he was born a man, but uh, in his later years, uh, he did go through uh, hormonal treatments to become a woman. Uh, sadly, he is no longer with us today. He passed away last year. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about uh, finding this book. Prior to discovering comic books, I have always been a great fan of art. You know, I like everything from looking at you know the Monet to uh, Picasso, to uh, Leonardo da Vinci sketch. Uh, I always love art uh, of all kinds. So, uh, you know, it's, it's always been a fascination of mine um, as far as hobby and it's also in um, careers. You know, I, uh, I wanted badly to be an artist, so I spent a lot of time doodling, drawing, Take a lot of drawing classes. Uh, maybe one of these days I will do a video of my um, one of my drawing. But um, you know, so after I discovered comic books, I spent a lot of time also visiting a lot of used bookstores because sometimes the used bookstores have boxes and boxes of uh, comic books that uh, I can look through and sometimes find the gems for cheap. So I, I frequent many used bookstore in my younger days. And um, back in 82, almost 83, I believe, I went into a used bookstore and found this book. And I was blown away. Um, I have never heard of any of these four names. Jeffrey Jones, Michael Kaluta, Bernie Wrightson, and Barry Windsor Smith. Okay, so this is 19, late 1982. I have never heard of them, but I found this beautiful book and I bought it used. And for those not familiar with this book, it's beautiful. It's called The Studio. It's basically a production of these four great artists. They got together they work in a studio, uh, all four of them, and uh, you know, by 1979, they published this book, and there's a lot of neat pictures of the studio um, in this book, as well as excerpt on, um, you know, what's going on in the studio and how they met each other and such. As you can see, look at this. Can you imagine walk into that studio back in those days and see all those kind of arts hanging everywhere? Talk about eye candies, huh? Fantastic. But here's the four guys. And so, the very first... Um, Part of the book is Jeffrey Jones. You know, I love this uh, this style of drawing. It's just gorgeous. I mean, uh, if you have a time to uh, Google Jeffrey Jones or Jeff Jones or Jeffrey Catherine Jones, uh, you will see a ton of his painting. But he is a fantastic he slash she is a fantastic painter. Um, even the great Frank Frazetta uh, thought he was fantastic back in the 70s. Uh, you know, if you have someone like Frank Frazetta uh, praising you, uh, you know you have the skills. Um, I will do a different video one of these days on Frank Frazetta himself because he is fantastic. Um, but so here you have Jones. And his uh, signature, that's how he signed most of his books or paintings. And you know, if you are 
a fan of art, uh, you know, hopefully you will find this kind of art beautiful. I mean, I love it. I love um, painting. I love watercolors. Uh, that's one thing I can't do. I, I tried and I, I just don't have the skill set to do it, but um, he's, you know, the work that he done, he's, he he has done is just uh, breathtaking to, for me. Just look at this beautiful uh, painting. This is one of my favorite for sure. Look at this. Sleep, nineteen seventy seven. Just gorgeous. Look at the details. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, you know, this is, uh, I think the style is called Expressionalism. Uh, I could be wrong, but, uh, yeah. but anyhow, um, one thing about Jeff Jones is, you know, uh, he's foremost a painter, not an artist. So, you know, he doesn't do a lot of uh, comic book works, but, you know, one of the very few things that he did draw as far as a, a, a continuous storyline is right here. Uh, I do have this book. I just uh, don't know where I put it. It's a black and white uh, story. But um, he did a lot of covers, you know, mostly for a magazine like Eerie or Creepy. You see a lot of his work on magazine, uh, but not a lot with comic books, uh, you know, because really, you you can't draw a comic book this way. It would take forever, and his talent is uh, better off doing beautiful drawing and painting like this instead of uh, doing, uh, you know, 20 page worth of uh, sketch for comic books. But, okay, let's go to the last page of his section. Just... Beautiful. I look at this book so many times, and it's uh, it bring me a lot of joy to uh, you know, look at his beautiful work. Um, but the few um, work in comic books that he did, luckily I do have them. So here is a painting that he did. Look at this beautiful cover. You know, I mean, a lot of time people look at this cover and they don't pay attention to the edge of the book, the cover because uh, of the painting inside. But if you look at the details of the drawing on the frame, just beautiful. Look at that. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, cover. I love it. So that's uh, one of his very few uh, work for comic books. And then here's another one. Um, this one is okay. Uh, I think um, it's lacking something for me. It, it's, uh, it's his work, as you can see. Um, but it's definitely my least favorite of, um, of, of his work as far as uh, the cover work for comic books. But that's, that's the beautiful uh, issue of uh, Wonder Woman 200. Not an easy issue to find in high grade because of the black covers. And perhaps my favorite of all three is this one here. Wonder Woman 199. As you can see, this is a pristine copy. Beautiful painting. Look at this. Trying to get less glare on the cover, but that is just classic drawing. The pose, the lines, really beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And lastly, probably the one of the few magazine that I have that was drawn by him as far as a cohort by Jones is this one. It's absolutely beautiful, the color. Oh my goodness. 
you know, if you um, happen to, you know, own some of these books, uh, I'm sure you agree with me that they are just beautiful. I mean, he is you know, definitely a fantasy painter. You know, he's, you know, it, it's very, there's a few artists out there that did a lot of work for magazine, fantasy magazines. You have uh, Jones, of course, you have Frazetta, you have Sweetum. Um, you know, they are just painting, you know, the, the painting that they, they did, it's just stunning. I can look at this cover all day long. Look at how beautiful that is. Gorgeous. Uh, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the short video on uh, Jeff Jones. And uh, hopefully I can come back and do uh, a small piece on Michael Kaluta. Of course, I will do a big one on uh, Barry Windsor Smith and Bernie Rison. But anyhow, thanks for watching.